we can rate actually i'm gonna make the rating tomorrow i need to calm down but this is my match reaction after today another average performance on the team and i didn't expect today to win the three points another against brighton i think i'm gonna get one point here and one point there so overall we lost two points west ham is a good side so i was realistic and i knew it gonna be 50 50 and against brighton was 50 50 and lady luck was not on our side but some of the mistakes were our doing as well because we were not clinical in front of the goal then De Gea put a cheap goal inside so we have to take blame for our defeat today and our players exactly and Eric Ten Hag precise he's a great manager and I understand he played war cross because he wanted to eliminate the long balls sent by West Ham and I said okay it's a gamble but he's seen it's not working he's seen now we need to attack Walker's not going to contribute attacking wise and I'm disappointing that he's not there on the box when every time we cross a ball he's still number 10 and that disappoints me the most <clears throat> Eric Ten Hag he disappointed me on the first after first half that when the second half started walk was still there i don't get why um his substitution was questionable as well i think mcguire was one of the players who can fit this match because he has that long aerial ability he's tall as well so I thought it's ideal now to play him after we went 1-0 down and put Lockshaw because it's much more dangerous than Malaysia on the left side. And you have much more freedom in the attacking wise. But he didn't. I wish he gambled more. And we can see in the last minutes, if we have like extra 10 minutes, we could have scored a goal. The changes were late. Um... But I don't blame him completely on him. I blame it on the players as well. De Gea, especially. We lost because of De Gea today. Um, but we lost as well because some of the players didn't play as well. Casemiro is one of them. Um, Rashford, I don't think he's the best. But again, the whole United team looked tired. And understandably so. We are not the Mickey Mouse club like Arsenal. Who like an exam, they study only one subject. Then they pass that subject and say, yeah, you know, we are the best. No, you are not. We studied all subjects. We fought for all the sides. And we paid price, injuries, tiredness. You cannot call yourself a big club when you are like a Mickey Mouse club playing once a week, focusing on one subject. We can't call you, yeah, you are expert in the league. But that's one subject. Because you didn't try on the rest. You are focusing only on that subject. So, it's natural that by the end of the season, we are tired. And next week, luckily, we have first week off. Now the team can't rest. So I'm expecting us to bounce. Top four is not gone. We start to look like we are battling it and we are in the way to battle it, but it's not done yet. We still have one point in advantage, advantage over Liverpool with much, one much extra. And we have three home matches. One of them, Chelsea's difficult match. There is, there's no easy match in Premiership anyway. But if we win all three home matches, what regardless of what Liverpool can do, they cannot be top four. That rest has come now in ideal position, so have no excuses now for the team. They need to perform. Our strikers, I'm tired of you shooting when there are chances to opportunity. I'm tired of not shooting when 
you want to pass instead of shooting to the back. Don't pass back. If you want to pass back, shoot. Dribble. Cause a panic. I'm tired of the team not trying to shoot or shoot from far distance. You are near the ball. Shoot. Don't shoot out of target. Shoot to the target. It's it gonna hit a player. Go in. Goalkeeper doesn't touch it like Ikea did. Don't shoot it. Trying to be clever and shoot it over the bar. Near the post. No. In the target. Look how Arsenal scored today. Second goal. Even the first goal. Just a shoot and it was an easy shot. But they put it on target. The second one. They just cross it in the ball and hit someone inside the goal. But don't try to be clever and do those smart fucking ass like you're playing billiard. Snooker. You want to hit the ball in the precise corner. No. Shoot. On the target. I'm tired of the player in the box, facing the ball, they don't shoot, they take extra touch of the ball. Then they, oh, you know, the defender has come, so what you do, they pass it to the back, or pass it to the side. Just shoot. Try your luck, you're gonna score a goal. I don't have, like, Rashford in the end, he's, he's, he's have a good shot, and the goalkeeper save it, but I like it. At least it was on the target. We need to keep on doing that every match and we're going to score a goal. We don't need to try those clever ball like hitting the post and go back inside the goal. Pinpoint, no. Just hit the target. It's not all done. We'll be back soon. But overall performance for the second match is below average. And Ellington Haggards will take responsibility. I will do the player rating tomorrow. And possibly there should be more players on the bench. I put only Rush, uh, Martial last time. I may add other players now. And some players on the naughty place, I'm tired of them. They've been in the world of shame for a long time. Maybe it's time for them to step up and then be put in the bin. We don't want them. Just rebin them, recycle them, trash them out of the club. Look for tomorrow bear rating. Because it's gonna be brutal. We lost a battle, but the war is still on. We're gonna come back. Are we gonna win it? And we're not going to let Liverpool get that fourth spot. Never. You shall not pass. I'll make sure of that. Thanks for listening. And take care. And see you tomorrow for player writing.